today we got a little update so this is the new block I'm gonna be working on for the motor this is gonna be a G22 block got it for a pretty good price um, according to the seller it will just be stored and look like when we went to check it out looks like something got into it so the oil is a little bit milky but from everything we see the pistons look brand new the whole setup look brand new you know the header was obviously used but the piston the block look pretty clean still has all the hatch marks so according to them they say just had it sitting but right now from what I'm seeing she dirty But, so I'm going to take the pistons out, make sure everything inside is good. And then once we're, you know, once all that's worked out, we'll start focusing on the head. So it came with ARP head studs. I'm about to just put them back in here, in the bag. Just keep those safe and sound, I guess. And take out the washers, they're in here. It has valve spring, but stock retainers. So I may upgrade to the titanium retainers once I figure out exactly what the setup is on this head. So it's basically a semi-built head and a built bottom end. So we're gonna dig into it, see what's going on. Here's where the damage was. It looks like it's only piston number four that had um, a little bit of water in it or whatever during storage. So that's the issue that we are running into. So now I just gotta clean that out. This, this, this is brand new, this is brand new. Like everything was bolted down. So I don't know. They obviously they cleaned it before they put it on, but when it was during storage, this just happened. So I gotta fix all of that. And most importantly, these are the plugs. These look. So here's the pistons. Everything looks fairly decent for just being set. Everything was basically clean. The pistons are clean. The cylinder head chambers are clean. So I'm just going to take off the pan, figure out what the hell is going on here, and then go from there. Right now, we're about to take off the oil pan and see if this really is a good deal or. I'm gonna have issues. Ugh. Head gasket was not blown. All the gaskets so far have come across just look like shit. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But so far I see some ARP rod bolts Some ARP main bolts So we have some good stuff on it and like I said the cylinders does not look like it was ever ran So she look like he's just dirty and crusty. So I'm gonna keep cleaning. We have ARP main studs ARP rod bolts, so I'm just take everything off and start digging in it has good parts, but this thing was ugh. I don't know what the hell is all this stuff and it's just like oil mixed with water mixed with that's bad <laughs> that's all I gotta say is bad took everything out and we still got a whole bunch of stuff to go so yeah I said we're just trying to figure out what happened they have good parts but I don't know something ain't right so we're gonna have to redo this whole thing just strip it down but for the deal we got, the parts, A1. We are basically have to torn down. I think we figured, we're working on figuring out exactly what's going on. We just gotta do a little bit more measurement. These are the combination. I have the spec sheet for the pistons. These are the rod numbers. And now I'm gonna have to do measurements because I believe these are the wrong rods the motor was never ran there's no way the motor could have ran see what they just assembled it put it together everything seemed brand new except for see right there the little scuff mark 
I had to check which piston that is and inspect the crank, make sure everything was good. But it seemed as if that was the issue. It's the wrong rod. Either it was too long, too short, or whatever. It was just too tight. But it did not spin freely. So that's where we are. I'm going to work on those. See if I could clean everything up. So that's the next stage. Just going to start cleaning everything at this point. It is a mess. I'll give you that. But I'm going to clean everything up. Go from there and see what happens. We took the whole crank apart. Took everything down. The motor is down to bare central. Next, we're going to clean the head. So I have to figure out the best way to do that. And that's the engine block. Just have it soaking. Make sure if you hear that. Just trying to get all the grease off because that block is dirty. So clean that up. Once that's done, next I'm going to throw the head in there. Clean that out. And I believe I'm um, cleaning out the little girl. So it's coming out nicely. The update of the engine block. Took it out the next day. Uh, a lot of the dirt and buildup is coming off. I just got to clean it. I'm probably going to have to power wash the unit. Clean out the block and make it look a little bit um, better. This is the the head i got it back after cleaning it last night it looks a lot better than before see what the intakes are completely look like we're trying to port it so the intakes are okay the exhaust looks dirty as i don't know what so i'm about to figure out how to clean those out and these are some of the valves so the intakes are all pretty clean perfect the exhaust could do some work obviously this has to be grind down so I'm going to see if I could soak these in carb cleaner to take off most of the soot and then reassemble. So this is the F22B1 block. This is a Felpro gasket that came with, with it. So I just checked this on Rock Order. It's for basically from a 94 to a 2000 Accord. And that's the chart for that part number. That's what it comes up as. So this is for basically, so this is covers a 2.2 to a 2.3 cylinder. Everything seemed to line up fairly decent. Pretty clean. Block is pretty clean. Still got a little final touches, but it's better than how it was. Now, here's my issue. This is a F22 crank. Can't use it, but I just have it. This is the F22B crank. Not using that one. I'm using the H22, H22A crank. So that one should give me the compression ratio that I want. So I'm going to be dropping this off in the machine shop tomorrow to get cleaned up. But I'm over here fighting with this head gasket situation. So here's the issue I'm having with this head gasket. So with the head gasket onto the H22 head, this is a F20B head gasket. So this is from the 92 F22 one. Okay. So yes, I know they everyone's seen that she use the F23. So I just want to show you something. This is more or less how it is when it's on, lined up right here. This looks very, very like it's going to leak cut through the corners right here because it's not even covered. It's barely covering. Okay, so that's with F22. This one is F23. I just bought some cheap eBay, eBay ones so I could, you know, test this out. So line everything up more or less where it should be. Just normally use this. Just line it up. But this one covers up the corners a lot better. So it doesn't look like this one will is more prone to leak. But it still has a good section where it could sh leak. So is this how yours, everybody's own looking is like, is this normal? Or do I have to put JB Weld on it or something to prevent this from leaking? Because right here is a problem. Or did you guys just get OEM gaskets and that fixed the whole issue? So I'm just testing to make sure the crank fits in there, and it does. 55, spin freely, not hitting anything. 
I'm waiting for the rods to come in. I'm probably gonna drop the crank off tomorrow to get cleaned up and polished. Quick video. This is off. Quick, just showing you basically how everything fits. This is a Honda F23 head gasket. So compared to the aftermarket ones, it does cover up a significant portion right here. So that's why they recommend getting the OEM one. So this covers up a lot more. So when you put it on, it doesn't leak. I will put a little bit of um, Honda Bond here at the end anyway, just as a precaution. And I might even be just dremeling out this area right here a little bit to give a little bit more flow into the block. Same around right here, just have a little bit more easy flow in. But this should be the correct head gasket you need. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.